Boston, the capital of Massachusetts and one of the oldest cities in the United States, is among the best places for experiencing American history. Start off at the Boston Common and enjoy historical sightseeing along the popular Freedom Trail, with plenty of Revolutionary War landmarks peppered throughout the town. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best things to do in Boston. And just wait till you see that it's number one that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, you can help support our channel by becoming a member of this channel. Press the join button below. This will help us to bring you more awesome travel videos. So now, Bostonian, let's cut to the chase. At 10, Samuel Adams. When in Boston, try Samuel Adams. It's the local flagship beer made by the Boston Beer Company. You can find the Samuel Adams Brewery on Germania Street, where you can enjoy a fun and free tour around its compact brewery to learn about the recipe, production techniques, and overall history of Boston's Pride Lager. Sounds great. It includes a tasting session where your group is handed four pitchers of cold varieties to share and sample. You can then decide and purchase some bottles of your favorite. I'm sure they all taste great. At 9, Freedom Trail. As one of Boston's popular walks, the Freedom Trail offers an outdoor history tour, covering most of the city's historical landmarks. The whole trail covers roughly 2.5 miles, with around 16 landmarks. The Boston Common serves as the southern end of the trail, while Monument Square is at its northernmost point. Even though many prefer starting north of the Common and then heading to the Massachusetts State House, you can start at any point and whichever section of the trail as you please. Next up at 8, Boston Duck Tours. This is a great way to see the best of Boston on a truly fun ride. The Boston Duck Tours not only take you on a guided tour through the city with various landmarks along the way, the amphibious duck bus ride will also literally take a plunge into Charles River. You'll then cruise by various other historical landmarks from a different angle with the impressive skylines of Boston and Cambridge in view. At 7, Boston Public Market. North of the Boston City Hall and across from Haymarket Station, the Boston Public Market is a great spot to discover a vibrant market scene in downtown. This indoor market on the ground level of 100 Hanover Street has numerous stalls offering everything from freshly baked breads and pastries, seafood and cold cut meats, to fruits and vegetables. You can sign up for food tastings and cooking demos, or a free tour that's typically offered every Tuesday and Friday morning from 10 a.m. Next up at 6, Museum of Fine Arts. This magnificent neoclassical building on Huntington Avenue houses one of America's most comprehensive art collections. It's easy to spend a couple of hours or more viewing the varied pieces of beautiful art here. The Museum of Fine Arts collection ranges from Greek, Egyptian, Native American to contemporary art by some of the world's most famous artists. Check out the drip painting abstract expressionist works of American painter Jackson Pollock. Some of the museum's galleries are lavish and reminiscent of European palaces. Admission is around $25 per person and free for kids under 6. Now at 5, Boston Public Garden. Next door to the Boston Common but offering a more green and lush environment, the Boston Public Garden is an urban oasis where you can escape the crowds. It's slightly younger than the Boston Common, having opened in 1837, and it's very well kept. Leafy pathways lead you to fountains and a large lagoon where you and your family can ride swan boats. In the spring, between March and June, you can expect the garden to be at its best, with colourful tulips in full bloom. And now at 4, MIT Museum. Discovering cutting-edge scientific and technological breakthroughs through the MIT Museum's collections. Inside, you can get lost in a wealth of objects, photographs, videos and holograms, showing some of the achievements of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology since its founding in 1861. Among its most impressive are the world's most comprehensive holograph collection and its robots and beyond exhibits that showcase NASA robots and the past, present and future of artificial intelligence. Tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for kids under 18, and free for kids under 5. 
At three, Boston Common. Dating back to 1634, the Boston Common is the oldest urban park in the United States. It plays significant roles in American history, particularly during the American Revolution, when redcoats were encamped there. It's where the founding fathers gathered to celebrate the nation's independence. Nowadays, it offers around 50 acres of historical monuments under willows and elms, alongside recreational activities. The Frog Pond, a spray pool in the summer, turns into an ice skating rink in the winter with a carousel nearby. At 2, Fenway Park. As the Boston Red Sox's home ground since it opened in 1912, Fenway Park is where you can learn about a piece of Major League Baseball history. Learn about its past heroes through the Hall of Fame, or go to a game and see living Boston baseball legends play against the Yankees, Royals, Rangers and Orioles, among others. Even if you aren't a die-hard baseball fan, a guided tour during the off-season can be fun, enabling you to see the park and the sport in a different way. And finally, at number one, the USS Constitution. The USS Constitution is the oldest commissioned warship that's still afloat today, which can be a fun and educational for families with kids to visit. Check out the cannons used during the 1812 battle against the British frigate HMS Guerriere and learn how she earned her nickname Old Ironsides when cannonballs from the adversary ship seemingly bounced off her side. The ship may set sail at certain times, but the museum in the Navy Yard itself offers a great experience with fun and interactive exhibits. And there you have the top 10 best things to do in Boston. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.